content streaming soon to Binge Pipe. Susan, you are cold and unrelatable, and no one likes your peanut noodle salad. But I always make that. And everyone hates you for it. Binge Pipe is oddly a little bit horny about bringing back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. We'll figure out how to monetize later. I'm Cookie Masterson, and this is You Don't Know Jack, the game where high culture and pop culture collide. Yeah, it's a fun slogan. We don't uh, say it much anymore, so there you go. Eight players, huh? Well, statistically speaking, one of you will be suffering male pattern baldness by question four. Okay, this is real now. Kicking things off, the Geriatric Avenger. The secret to box office millions is letting a 95-year-old comic book writer wander through your film. If there were an Etsy store called Stanley Cameos, what would it sell? Stanley's profile engraved on necklace pendants, Stanley's silver hair intertwined on cross stitch pillows, Stanley's fingerprints on decorative clothing pins, or soy candles that smell like Stanley. So what'd you pick? That smell, if you're wondering, is Dr. Pepper, caramel candy, and massive piles of money. <coughs> when you engrave an image into a material and wear it as jewelry, it's known as a cameo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time for a few bricks shy of a full set. Suppose Danish company Lego wanted their next Lego movie to be set close to home, in Denmark. Which classic character would we watch go to pieces? Lego Frankenstein, Lego Captain Ahab, Lego Hamlet, or Lego Gregor Samsa? Okay, let's take a look. It's the man who built the monster and not the monster itself that's the wrong answer. Nor this answer blows. <coughs> Your inability to recognize reality is almost Kafka-esque. <coughs> Both Prince Hamlet and Legos are Danish. <coughs> sure, having to kill the uncle that murdered your father is tough, but stepping on a Lego with bare feet, that's the real tragedy. Why don't we do it with three? Behold. Market fluctuation, the ride. And buckle in because it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read seven names and for each I want you to tell me if it's a cryptocurrency, you know, like Bitcoin, or a roller coaster ride at a Six Flags amusement park. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a cryptocurrency or a roller coaster. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Let's go. Nitro. Ethereum. Not a lot of rock stars, but uh, decent rhythm section. Let's get on with it, shall we? I don't need you anymore. Coming up next, broad appeal. 
If Ilana and Abby from Broad City befriended a queen from India, what should be their new catchphrase? Yas Khan, Yas Amir, Yas Rani, or Yas Sultan? So who got it? <laughs> Rani is Hindi for queen. This one's known as getting real for a second. Which PC keyboard command produces a symbol that looks like my cat's butthole? Shift plus one, shift plus three, shift plus five, or shift plus eight? Hope you like what you picked. Shift plus eight creates an asterisk, AKA a cat butthole. I know, I know, finally some useful information. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. How's everyone doing? Currently, player seven is in the lead. And down here, these players are doing the bad thing. Looks like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? I am feeling joy. Six trombones is not a parade. Up next, frat chance. If I wanted to start a fraternity with letters that more or less look like three pitchforks, what name should I use? Alpha Alpha Alpha, Eta Eta Eta, Kai Kai Kai, or Psy Psy Psy? Let's see how that shook out. Psy is the 23rd letter of the Greek alphabet, and it looks either like a little pitchfork or a little trident. <laughs> Sai 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 is also what my mom said when she saw my one man show. Hey, question. At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question about time or a question about space? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have chosen. J'ai mangé tous les œufs. Sept. How about this one? A question about space. Which of these fictional planets is now just empty space? Hoth, Dagobah, Alderaan, or Tatooine? Look sharp. Player two dropped a screw on you guys. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. And how do we do? Alderaan was blown up by the Death Star in the first Star Wars film. Which was actually the fourth Star Wars film. Or the sixth. Oh, God. I don't know. Please don't send me angry emails. Expert screwing, player two. Have some cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. And now, Big Gramps on campus. Who's the most old school? Mr. Oxford, Mr. Harvard, Mr. Stanford, or Mr. Phoenix? So watch out. Player 5 has unleashed the screw. Hey, who's ready for a little identity theft? Okay, who chose what? The University of Oxford dates back to around 1096, making it one of the oldest educational institutions in the world. And 
Within about three years, the first class will finally finish paying off their student loans. Excellent screwing, Player 5. I believe this belongs to you. Coming up, Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's monster. Paired with Kanye in Madonna's song, Illuminati. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? What'd you guys pick? This might be discouraging. <coughs> the lyrics to Madonna's Illuminati actually begin by saying the Illuminati isn't Queen Elizabeth or Kanye. But Queen Elizabeth and Kanye West are both in my top five fashion icons list. I call this one, bless you, got served. Which hip-hop move best demonstrates the proper hygienic way to sneeze in public as set out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? The Dougie, popping and locking, the Humpty Dance, or dabbing? Okay, what'd you pick? If you don't have a tissue on hand, the CDC recommends you sneeze into your upper sleeve, which is what it looks like someone is doing when they're dabbing. It's so lame when adults try to look cool by not getting phlegm everywhere. Ow. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Follow the rules. You can't follow the rules unless you know what they are. Good luck. One's got it. Nice work, player one. I'm sweating that was so close. Wait, no, it's it's all that pig gristle I had for lunch. Either way. You don't know Jack!
coming soon. The Minister, a period drama about the turn of the century British Prime Minister David Lloyd George. That's it. I must create the Parliament Act to circumvent the House of Lords' objection to my social insurance budget plans. Don't worry, like all period dramas, we've added a lot of sex. When you say circumvent, do you mean go in from behind? Why, Margaret Dreyer Robbins, if you were the president of the Women's Trade Union League, I'd say you were flirting with me. You know what they say. What happens at the Paris Peace Conference will create complicated precedent which will inadvertently lead.